This is part 105 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss grouping function in SQL Server. This is continuation to part 104, so please watch part 104 before proceeding. What is grouping function? Grouping function indicates whether the column in a group by list is aggregated or not. Grouping returns 1 for aggregated or 0 for not aggregated in the result set. Let's understand what we mean by this statement with an example. Here we have total sales aggregated across these three columns, continent, country, and city. And then we have three other columns here. So basically these three columns are going to tell us whether if this total sales value is aggregated across any of these columns. So if you look at the first row, this total sales figure is not aggregated by any specific column. So notice GP underscore continent, GP underscore country, and GP underscore city, all of them are zero, indicating that data is not aggregated for any of those columns. Whereas if you look at this third row, look at that, city is null. So this subtotal here, 3000, this total sales is for all cities within India country that is present in Asia continent. So this figure is aggregated across city column. So notice GP underscore city is 1, whereas the other two columns are 0. Now if you look at this row right here, this subtotal is for all cities and for all countries in Asia continent. And if you look at the respect to GP underscore columns here, notice country and city are 1, whereas continent is 0. And if you look at the last row here, all of the column values are null. So this is the grand total. So in this case, the data is aggregated across all those three columns. Notice GP underscore column values here for all the columns are ones. So let's see how to produce this output using this grouping function. So this function is going to return one if the data is aggregated across the column that we specify. Otherwise, it's going to return zero. So let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the same query that we worked with in the previous video session. So when we execute this, we get the total sales grouped by continent, country, and city. Now, we also want these three columns, GP underscore continent, GP underscore country, and GP underscore city. For that, we can use the grouping function. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that with this grouping function, you can only specify one column. That means here, to get these three columns, you will have to use grouping function three times. So let's look at that in action now. So along with the sale amount, we want to use the grouping function, and I'm going to pass continent and let's give it an alias gp underscore continent and similarly we want the same thing for country and city so grouping of country as gp underscore country and grouping of city as gp underscore city so let's execute this and notice that if data is aggregated across a column, we get one for that GP underscore column. If it's not aggregated, we get zero. All right, now the next obvious question that comes to our mind is, okay, I know what is grouping function, but what is the use of this grouping function in the real world? Now, look at this. When we have you know, this total sales amount aggregated by default, in the result set, it will display null value. But if you look at from the end user perspective, null value doesn't make any sense at all. Instead of nulls, don't you think it makes sense to display a word like this, all, or all cities, which is more meaningful? So when you say all here, you know, the user can read this as, okay, this total sales amount is for all cities in India country that's present in Asia continent. Whereas if you look at all here, then this clearly says to the end user, this is the grand total of total sales across all cities, all countries, and all continents. Okay, so we can use this grouping function to achieve this. Now, if you look at the result here, notice that, you know, by whatever column we have the data aggregated across those columns, we have null values. Now we want to replace those null values with this all word. So let's see how to do that. 
So first of all, in our result set, we don't need these three additional columns, so I'm going to remove them. And we want to use the grouping function. So in order to replace the null value with this word all, I'm going to use the case statement and grouping function. So select case when grouping of let's take this continent pass it to our grouping function so when grouping of continent equals one that means data is aggregated across that column so if that's the case we know that we are going to get a null value and at that point we want to display all instead of null else so if it's not grouped across that continent, then what do we want to display? We want to display the respective continent name. Now, if you look at the data that we have, we don't have any null values within con continent, country, or city columns. But if we have null values, we don't want to display null. Instead, we want to display you know, unknown for either continent, country, or city. So what I'm going to do here is use another is null function and pass the continent column to it. So if the continent column is null, then I want to display you know, this word unknown instead of null in the result set. And then let's end the case statement as let's give that column an alias. We want that column name to be continent. Okay. So we need to do the same thing for country and city as well. So I'm going to make a copy of that and let's pass country. So grouping of country is equal to one, then all else if country is null, again display unknown and and we want the column name to be country. And let's do the same thing for city. So when grouping of city is equal to one, then all else check if city column has got a null value. If that's the case, uh, display unknown. So by the way, we have unknown spelling wrong here. Let's correct that. and let's give this an alias of city and then we want the total sales amount alright so let's go ahead and execute this one now look at that instead of nulls we have all so now if you look at this one notice that this subtotal is for all cities all countries in Asia continent whereas this is a grand total it's for all cities all countries and all continents so much you know better than what we had before all right so here is that case statement that we have just looked at now the next obvious question that comes to our mind is why can't I use is null function instead of grouping function to achieve the same result well we can use it as long as we don't have any null data within the sales table let me explain what I mean so first of all let's see when we use is null function instead of in our grouping function if we get the same result I'm actually going to make a copy of this query so let's open another query editor window now let's use is null function so I'm going to get rid of this big case statement and let's use is null is null of continent so if continent is null then we want to display this word all let's do the same thing for country and city okay so if country is null then display all if city is null then display all so now when I execute this one notice that okay obviously we have to give that column an alias so let's give it an alias as continent and let's do the same thing for city and country as country and let's do it for city as well so now when we execute this we get the same result right so when we use is now a grouping function we are able to achieve that now we can use is null function to achieve the same thing as long as our raw data in the sales table does not contain any null values. Let me explain what I mean. So at the moment, if you look at the sales table, 
let's execute a select query on the sales table. So this is the table that we created in our previous video session. So if you look at this continent, country, and city columns, we don't have null values anywhere. Now let's go ahead and change, you know, the city Bangalore to null. And to do that, let's issue an update statement. So update sales table set city equals null and the ID of that row is 1 so where ID equals 1. So now let me execute this and now when we select the data from the sales table notice that for the first row for Asia continent India country you know city is now. Now when we execute this query look at what's going to happen since within the data itself we have null you know it's replacing that also with all and this is kind of misleading so you know if we read this from an end user perspective it's like for all cities within India country in Asia continent the total sales is one okay now why did we get all there that's because the raw data had a null value and because we are using is null function here wherever continent is null we are replacing that with all and that's the reason why we got it there Whereas when we use this query, notice that we don't have that problem. So when city is null, it's displaying that as unknown. We don't have a city name there, so it's displaying unknown, but not all. Okay, so now this is much readable. That's why grouping is very useful. Now, this grouping function can be used with any of these functions, roll up, cube, or grouping sets. So at the moment we're using roll up. When I use cube and when we have the data aggregated across columns, we are going to get you know the same result. And when we use grouping sets as well, so instead of cube, when we use grouping sets, again we can still use grouping function. So this is the first group by which we want to group the total sale amount. Then we want it to group by continent country and just by continent. Finally, grand total. So here we are using grouping sets. So now when we execute this, we still get all. Thank you for listening and have a great day.